decided to do the professional master's because, um, you know, I work in a post-secondary environment. We value education. Um, I was looking at programs and given that I was working full-time, I wasn't in a place to stop. Um, the online environment for me was really attractive because I want flexibility. Coursework, um, I think, is what you make of it in a lot of ways. And so um, the coursework is all online, which is awesome. There are, there are no... Um, requirements of us to attend a certain lecture at a certain time online or anything like that. It's really sort of going at your own pace. Even though I'm not a teacher, I don't have a teaching background, I still find the courses really interesting but also directly applicable to my work. And so I've done projects for the courses, etc., and actually brought them into the office to use day to day. I think the online community um, for this program is really unique in that it's not um, just sort of one track or one stream and so we have um, certainly a base of people with education experience or bachelor's degrees in education but then we've also got varying experiences even within that group and then outside of it so there's people like me who um, have never taught in a classroom before. We have people um, who are specializing in the more Aboriginal education. Um, and what I find that does to the community is that when we're talking about a theory, we're coming at it from so many different viewpoints that we get into these really great discussions. Um, and I will be reading a discussion thread and think, wow, you know, I never thought of it that way before because I'm not in the classroom. And so um, that sort of different perspective really helps to build the community. So the skills that I'm developing in the program, I think um, I think of them as sort of twofold. One, I'm certainly developing technical skills when it comes to applying theory to practice and um, being able to sort of better describe my experience, better um, analyze my experience and sort of move forward that way. I would say though, sort of a bonus um, skill that I'm developing is some of that self-regulation. And so, you know, I'm in charge of my own schedule <laughs> for better or for worse. And um, I've learned to prioritize I've learned to sort of make time in my schedule for the program. And I think um, while I fancy myself good at time management, it has been a skill that I've been able to sort of hone and develop. The program is going to help me in my career moving forward as I look to advance in my career, as I look to be promoted. I'm going to need to demonstrate further education than a bachelor's degree, and that's just the environment that I work in, um, you know, post-secondary environment, student affairs, we value education. Um, when I looked at different master's degree programs, because of course there are a lot, um, education for me was the clear link, I think, into where I want to move forward. And so while I'm not a classroom teacher, assessment and evaluation is huge in my field um, in terms of demonstrating what we are doing outside of the classroom and how that's impacting our students. And so um, it seems like a logical link to me and I think um, it will help me sort of move forward. It will help me sell my experience a little bit more and it will help me demonstrate that experience as well.